On March 31st, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau stood before reporters to defend his stupid decision concerning the Ethics Commission. He had appointed an interim ethics commissioner, but that's not the reason why he's in the headline today. The reason is because of who he had appointed to that role. It was discovered that the new interim ethics commissioner, Martine Richard, is the sister-in-law of one of Trudeau's ministers, the intergovernmental affairs minister, Dominic LeBlanc. At that press conference, Trudeau said, if there is any office in the country that understands how to manage conflicts of interests and ethical perceptions and issues, it is that office, which has always done exceptional work at ensuring the confidence of Canadians. The Prime Minister argued that Richard was a senior official in the Ethics Commissioner's office for over a decade, having first been hired under former Conservative Prime Minister Stephen Harper. He added that already measures are in place to ensure that the work is done professionally and without conflicts of interest, given the connections. He said, I will highlight as well that the work that the previous Ethics Commissioner did, in which the current interim commissioner was a close part of, was certainly very clearly doing its job in rigorous ways. The crazy part of all this is that Trudeau is defending his decision. The Prime Minister does not see anything wrong with appointing a relative of one of his ministers into the crucial role of Ethics Commissioner. And that is bothersome. The Ethics Commission is supposed to be an impartial and independent parastatal that would investigate concerned public servants when needed. So what happens if Love Blank gets rightly accused of unethical behavior? I will tell you what will happen. Probably at an extended family meeting, while everyone is in good spirits, LeBlanc would take Richard aside and ask how his sister-in-law can help him out of the mess. Richard may need little or no persuasion to agree to help LeBlanc out. Then the next time we hear about the ethics case against LeBlanc, it would have been resolved with the minister going scot-free. And when some other liberal minister who's a friend of LeBlanc gets into ethical trouble, the minister can always reach out to the ethics commissioner to lend a hand. Now, how can one say that Trudeau did not think all these through before making the decision to appoint Richard to the role? Even if he did, when a man such as himself is set on carrying out a diabolical plan, he doesn't listen to anything that can put it asunder. He claimed that Richard was a senior official in the Ethics Commission under Stephen Harper. That isn't an excuse for what Trudeau did because Harper was a conservative and would not have allowed any form of foul play. But in this case, Trudeau is a liberal, belonging to the same party as the minister, who has Richard as a sister-in-law. So no, that isn't an excuse for what he did. Besides, Trudeau has repeatedly shown Canadians that he is not scared to dip his filthy hands into corrupt practices so long as it suits his purpose and goals. Trudeau is hell-bent on destroying democracy in Canada and isn't even remorseful about it. The Prime Minister is so selfish that he doesn't care if his actions today would negatively impact the country's next generation of public servants. Being a short-sighted man, he only looks at the immediate effects of his actions, and since they suit him, he thinks he has no business with what happens in the long run. As expected, opposition MPs have criticized the appointment of Richard due to her relationship with Law Blank and the fact that Law Blank was previously found to have broken conflicts of interest rules by awarding an Arctic Surf Clam license to a company linked to his wife's cousin. During question period on March 29, conservative ethics critic Michael Barrett said Richard's appointment was equivalent to the governing liberals having an inside representative in the ethics oversight role, which is an independent office of parliament. He said, how can Canadians have confidence in the officers of parliament if these guys are stacking the deck? Canadians' confidence in the government has been waning since the Freedom Convoy, but does Trudeau care? Not in the least. Neither does he care if Canadians have confidence in the officers of parliament. And yet there are some who believe that Trudeau isn't fast becoming a dictator here in Canada. He is gradually taking over key institutions, albeit indirectly. The Prime Minister has previously said that he would contest in the next general elections. I dare say that he is doing everything possible to ensure that he wins that general election, if possible, by a landslide. Meanwhile, in response to what Barrett said concerning Richard, government house leader Mark Holland said Richard is a career public servant who joined the commissioner's office when Harper was in office. He said, it makes absolute and complete logical sense that she would be acting in an interim capacity. You see that the liberals are all repeating the same thing, saying that Richard served in the commission during Harper's time. This is how you know that the federal government has no justified reason for appointing Richard to that role. During question period on March 30, conservative leader Pierre Poilly have asked when this liberal government is going to run out of family and friends to appoint as independent officers. NDP House leader Peter Julian also said on March 30 that Richard's appointment was not appropriate and that the role of ethics commissioner needed to be above any reproach, particularly at a time when we're seeing more questioning of our fundamental institutions. The Bloc Quebecois also released a statement that said the role of ethics commissioner must be free from any appearance of a conflict of interest. 
The release said, The liberals are obviously not respecting these standards with this choice and are themselves casting a shadow on the independence of the post. Had the liberals ever respected standards since Trudeau became prime minister? Martin Richard replaces Mario Dian, who was the ethics commissioner for five years before he resigned over health issues. Over that five years period, Dian found that Trudeau and several of his cabinet members violated federal ethics laws. And even his resignation announcement came a day after a liberal MP, Greg Fergus, was found to have violated the Conflict of Interest Act. Fergus had written a letter supporting a television channel's application to the CRTC for mandatory carriage. Dian said that all federal parties had offered training and educational sessions, yet there has continued to be a succession of mistakes that are largely attributable to the inability to recognize the need to seek consultation. Over the last five years, his office has continued to see senior government officials unaware of their obligations and mistakenly making assumptions. Why does Trudeau even get to choose who becomes the ethical commissioner? I mean, this prime minister has broken more ethical rules than one, and he gets to choose who heads the commission that has found him guilty. If he had his way, he would have someone he could manipulate heading that commission, and now that he has his way, he has done just that. That power to appoint the ethics commissioner shouldn't even be with a prime minister or any member of the ruling government because it only gives room for things like this. Trudeau doesn't care about ethics and neither does his government, so they see the commission as another tool to ensure the administration's longevity. This is why Trudeau did what he did and is now defending it. A complete shame to democracy. What are your thoughts on the video? Who do you think should rightly appoint an ethics commissioner following the disgraceful act by Trudeau? Please leave your opinions in the comments section below. We would love to know what you think. We would appreciate it if you leave us a like on this video, subscribe to the channel if you are new or haven't yet and turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on our next big news on happenings in Canada. Thanks for watching and I will see you at the next one.